This is the Roborock S4, the new robotic vacuum cleaner out from the Chinese company, Roborock. And um, this is the second cleaning I've had with it since I just got it in uh, from Amazon the other day. And I have another video up of my Neato D7. And so what I'm doing is I'm comparing this robot vacuum, which retails at $399, $400 basically, and I'm comparing it to the $800 Neato D7 connected, which is the flagship for Neato. And I really think this robot could give that $800 robot a run for its money. So this is really a time test. Check out my other video uh, linked below for the Neato D7 connected and the time that it took for it to vacuum this hallway. Now, um, I won't spoil how well or how well or not how well the Neato D7 did, um, but you're watching this with me for the first time. Uh, I have not run this fully in my house except for one run for it to learn the house, which both robots do, and they kind of bounce all over the place. They go in weird patterns to learn the house, but they both successfully map my house. And so this is the first run with it using the map that it generated. And the first run of it vacuuming a part of my house, which this is the hallway, the, the long hallway. And uh, so far, the Roborock S4 is going the whole entire length of the hallway pretty efficiently. I'm fairly impressed and the new side brush that they have spinning which is very important on the round robots to get the debris from the side of the room. The new round uh, brush is no longer a bristle, it's rubber tipped ends. So be interesting to see how well those hold up. We first saw those on the S6 model which is the flagship model which retails for almost twice this one. It's pretty expensive. It's 600 some odd dollars. You can catch it on sale sometimes, but um, it's, it's a good bit more expensive than this one. This one actually is uh, impressing me a whole lot. I don't see why you would buy the S5 unless you really care for the mop feature. The mop feature on the S5 is kind of gimmicky though. I think if you want a mop, I think I would just buy a dedicated mop robot. So Mm, I didn't really have much interest in the mop feature of the S5. I probably wouldn't have used it very much. So the fact that they released this one at $399.99, um, I paid three, three sixty dollars for it because they had a, uh, a $40 coupon going on. Depending on when you see this video, they may still have it going on. It's an introductory price for this robot. Um, so far, I'm pretty impressed with this little guy. Um, I'll let you check the other video out to see how well the Neato D7 did in this hallway. And they both ran the entire length of the hallway. And it looks like we're getting ready to finish on this. I think this is the last pass on it before it goes home to dock. Or is it going to go back and get a little bit more? It thinks it has a little bit more to get. So going back to the dock, uh, it basically cleaned it in four minutes since it's back to the dock now. So four minutes from start to finish is how long it took the Roborock S4 to get this vacuum. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more comparison videos, so like if you like the content, subscribe if you want to see uh, some more comparison videos. Uh, my plan is to put these two robots uh, in a series of tests head to head. Uh, which is the American Charging. brand Neato top of the line model D7 connected against the Roborock, the newest bot from the Chinese company Roborock S4. So again, please give me a like, subscribe, comment below if you own either of these robots and you're interested in seeing more reviews. Uh, I would like to do a review on how well these go over carpets because that's important to me as it is for many people. There are many reviews out there about uh, pickup tests. I think I may do one of those where I scatter some debris around the room 
uh, maybe some cat litter since we have cats and see how well each of them does in a head-to-head -head comparison against cat litters. Comment below if that's something you'd like to see. And uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, one of these robots uh, is not going to stay in my house. I'll probably give one of them to my mom. Might make a good Christmas present. They're both great robots. However, only the best one is going to stay in my house. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.